Okay, this is the new Safe and Sound EM3 meter. We've been working on this for a few years now, and we were actually close to a release date about six months ago, but we were asked to make this unit even more functional. Uh, traditionally, uh, the test equipment used to measure magnetic fields and electric fields measures in RMS mode, uh, but uh, we were asked to provide functionality to measure things in peak mode. That, that might be considered more biologically relevant in the future, but time will tell. So uh, in addition to being able to measure three-dimensional AC magnetic fields, uh, this unit measures uh, AC electric fields from the y-axis, so the antenna is this way, which means it will pick up stuff from that direction, and uh, also a body voltage. So when I plug in a, uh, a body voltage cable here, the unit switches to body voltage mode. And this is a true 10 mega ohm, very high impedance input, and it actually does measure down to one millivolt and up to 12,000 millivolts or 12 volts RMS for body voltage. Uh, we also have different filters for different bands, full from 50 hertz to over 120 kilohertz, greater than 60 hertz, greater than 2 kilohertz, 16.7 hertz dedicated, and then we can switch uh, to uh, E-field mode. We wanted to make the user interface as simple as possible, so Right now we're so showing a magnetic field in three three dimensions, the total of these all these dimensions factored together. But if I want to see what's going on, individual axis, I just push and hold the mode button. And as you can see, as is the case in most urban indoor environments, the uh, the Z Z axis is the highest uh, prominent axis. And to go back to the uh, the combined display again. Just hold the mode button to switch filters, single push. Switch the different filters and then also we go to E mode and of course this antenna is picking up all the wires and things like this here. So as I mentioned uh, this meter will measure in peak mode and that's just done by pushing these these two buttons here and the meter will uh, switch to a peak measurement mode and the display is showing that there. What does peak mode mean compared to RMS mode? I'll do a quick demonstration using a scope. Uh, if, uh, if there are lots of questions, we'll do a detailed video on the differences, but uh, just wanted to show you how we arrive at the peak measurement mode. All right, I have the EM3 set up on the test bench. The range is currently set to greater than two kilohertz, or I should say the filter is set to greater than two kilohertz. And the meter is actually picking up the studio lighting. So that fluctuation that we're seeing there is from the, uh, from the studio lights, which are about five feet away. This meter is very sensitive. Now that fluctuating signal we'll see coming back uh, in our uh, upcoming test here. You'll see that in a second. So what I'm going to do now is generate a one volt per meter E field at 10 kilohertz. So we'll turn on the signal generator and we can see that the EM3 is showing a one volt RMS signal. I've got the EM3 set up at a distance from the E plate so that when I um, connect the signal generator at one volt RMS as shown here on the scope that it uh, that it will show one volt per meter on the uh, on the EM3. Okay so that's one volt RMS exactly. Now I'm going to switch the EM3 into peak mode. When I do that you'll notice the readings are going to go up because my body is acting like an antenna and it will uh, conduct some of the energy from the studio lights, which I'm close to at the moment, and uh, it will conduct it to the E-field antenna on the EM3. So let's switch to peak mode. There, our readings are going up. Let's let it settle down a little bit here. And I'm seeing readings around 2.9 volts per meter. If we look at the oscilloscope here, and we look at the voltage peak to peak, 
we're seeing somewhere around 2.94, occasionally going up to 2.96 volts peak to peak. Okay, so what that is doing is measuring the peak voltage at the peak of the curve here. I can turn off this uh, display. So it's measuring the voltage at the peak of the curve and it's also measuring the voltage at the minimum at the trough. And what is that voltage in total from the very peak to the other peak, the trough there, that's called peak to peak voltage. And again, that is around 2.94 volts and that's what we're seeing on the EM3. There is some fluctuation in the display there. Why? Because of the studio lights. That little bit of noise is being picked up. Okay. Now if I switch back into RMS mode again, again the signal will jump up here. Switch back to RMS, the display settles down to 1 volt RMS and again that is our RMS signal here as shown. So there's a demonstration of what actually is being measured when you are in peak mode. And uh, no doubt many of you will know the NFA 1000 very well for use in measuring 3D magnetic fields and 3D electric fields. I've got this meter set up right now with all the switches in the right position for um, just above 2 kilohertz here and I have set it to just display the y-axis in E mode and uh, it's in uh, RMS mode. Now, uh, in the instruction booklet for the NFA 1000, they do say that this is an experimental mode. So it's good that they're, they're possibly thinking about the future of uh, measurement as well. Uh, let's see what this meter is doing when I uh, uh, just test their uh, peak mode. So I'm going to turn on the signal generator again. And... Uh, Again, this is a uh, 2 kilohertz signal. I've got 1 volt per meter. And let's change it to peak mode. And uh, it's showing 2.1, 2.2, something like that. So, not sure. Again, this is an experimental uh, mode for them. So they might be thinking more in terms of peak-to-peak uh, -peak measurement. Uh, but again, uh, it's good that they're experimenting with that and uh, just wanted to, uh, to show you. Most people, uh, I think pretty much everyone, just keeps the, uh, the meter in uh, RMS mode and uh, that's, uh, that's how things are measured. Anyway, it was interesting to see this unit uh, have this option for perhaps future firmware updates. Thanks for watching. Thank you.